Well, we expect to see them uh, conduct an offensive uh, sometime in the spring. And because of that, you know, we are, we, all of the partners in the, in the Ukraine Defense Contact Group have been working hard to ensure that they have uh, the armored capability, uh, the fires, the sustainment to be able to be effective in creating the effects on the battlefield that they want to create. Yeah, so Ukraine has been at this for a year, and so they have used a lot of artillery uh, ammunition. Uh, we're going to do everything we can working with our international partners to ensure that uh, we give them as much uh, ammunition as quickly as, as possible. In terms of whether or not Russia is uh, massing its aircraft for some uh, massive uh, aerial attack, we don't currently see that. We do know that Russia has uh, a substantial uh, number of aircraft in its inventory and a lot of capability left. That's why we've emphasized that you know, we need to do everything that we can uh, to get Ukraine as much air defense capability as we possibly can. And recently, uh, vary your times, don't set patterns, take different routes. NATO and this coalition has never been stronger. And Russia is now a global pariah. And the world remains inspired by Ukrainian bravery and resilience. In short, Russia has lost. They've lost strategically, operationally, and tactically. And they are paying an enormous price on the battlefield.